Everybody's ever left. This is QNSO. Now let's meet the one and the only, the hardest working man in professional wrestling. He's looking for his first victory. This is Michael Solaire. This match, one ball, 15 minutes. Again, your referee, Just Gavin. We are back after 1,160 days in the city of Atlanta. Rob Weathers joined by my broadcast colleague, Carmen Michael, here to call the action. And Carmen, we're getting things kicked off here with a debuting Alexander Lev taking on Michael Solar. Michael Solar looking for that elusive first victory here at Southern States Pro. You see the high energy bursting through the curtain. Michael Solar is excited. He thinks tonight is the night, Rob, but the question still remains on if that is true. Well, and tonight would be the perfect night for everybody in this locker room to pick up a huge victory because not only, as you said, Michael Solar still chasing win number one, Alexander left, making his debut here, so would definitely like to make that debut on a positive note, but we are back in Atlanta after four long, long years, and this is such a monumental night for everybody here at Southern States Pro. The chills have been running up and down my arms all night, Garmin. Right now, Lev making one hell of an impression here in his debut here in our return to Atlanta, Georgia. As Lev makes his way back to the ring, Michael Solar, as you said, somebody that a lot of the people here in Southern States, everybody in the locker room has grown to love Solar. This is a kid that shows up, even if he's not initially on the card, he shows up, he helps set up, he helps get the ring set up, he helps set the chairs up. Michael Solar is a guy that is willing to pay his dues and has done a hell of a lot of that in the last year here at Southern States as he's tied up in this collar and elbow now with Lev. Neither man looking to give an inch here, Garner. Solar absolutely motivated entering the ring here tonight, but so is Alexander Lev. You mentioned making his his debut here at Southern States Pro. One of these men is gonna walk away here tonight with their first Southern States victory. And after Alexander Lev lays in the first few significant shots of the match, looking to make sure that it's going to be Lev walking away with the victory, laying the boots into Solar in that corner. Yeah, Lev's gotta be careful here. Cannot let his temper get the best of him. As he saw, referee got up to a count of four there. Well, and getting and a disqualification you, loss is not how you want to kick off your start here at Southern States. So, and if you've seen Alexander Lev, wait, we got to roll up pin here. Lev out of it. If you are familiar with Alexander Lev, oh, cross, body. cross body into the pin. Lev does have a, a, a penchant for letting that temper get the best of him. He's to not let Solar gain the upper hand, but Solar doing a great job right now. Control on that left arm. Yeah, Solar doing all he can to keep that momentum in his favor. You see him trying to slow down the pace here of Alexander Lev, someone who certainly has a uh, very high opinion of himself, to put it lightly. Exactly putting it lightly. Solar continuing to go to work, has not let go of that arm, but forced to right there. Looks like, looks like Lev went into the eyes there, the referee trying to get between these two, see what's going on here, oh, and goes again, right back to it. Anything to get the advantage here in our opening contest. Nothing behind the ref's back on that one. So referee looking to lay down the law here maintain some sort of semblance of order, but I'm not sure if he's gonna get it with Alexander Lev. Oh, drop kick from oh. Solar. I was not expecting <laughs> to see that. I feel like I've called most of Michael Solar's matches in his year long career, and I, I don't think I've ever seen a pull out a drop kick. Nailed Alexander Lev right in the heart as the referee begins the count. Solar a little hesitant here, not looking to stay on the attack. Well, he's gotta, he's gotta oh, be careful. Hold on. Picking, picking his that points. spot, yes. Picking the spot, handful of hair, but Lev oh, catches the throat of Solar right across that middle rope with that guillotine. And this right here is what makes Lev so dangerous. He finds his moments and he seizes the opportunity. And when he gets that momentum, as you can see, Rob, it does not make let up. Hold on, press for the cover. But when he gets that momentum in his favor, he does not let up like a rabid dog, stays on top of his opponent. 
Vicious is putting it lightly as he lands these huge clubbing shots right to the neck of Michael Solar. That forearm is right across the temple, and you can, you can see Solar grimacing. You see that look on his face, trying to absorb these shots. He can withstand some punishment, Rob. I'll give him credit. Solar has been taking a beating since he broke into professional wrestling. This is nothing new for Michael Solar. Oh. Leg drop from Lev. Goes for the cover once again. Hand across the mouth of Solar. And as we said earlier, Solar looking to chase that elusive first win. And he has proven that he is willing to fight as hard as he has to to get there. Got to give credit where credit's due. Solar has absolutely been impressive thus far in this match. But making an impressive statement does not exactly equal a victory. And right now, S running against the Shades of Jimmy Rave. Leg is hooked for the cover. Almost. And what a, what a sight to see as we return back to Atlanta, the city that Jimmy Rave put on the map. Both men extremely motivated as Lev now looking to choke the life out of Solar. You see the referee having to get having to get in there a little bit closer now, having to put his hands on Lev to force Lev off. Already having a tough night on the office here, our very first match of the night. Just washing the face of Michael Solar with that boot was Alexander Lev. Lev certainly feeling the confidence now as he gets Michael Solar back up to his feet. Solar has been resilient thus far, but the momentum firmly in the favor of Alexander Lev. That European uppercut has got Solar oh. dazed and then dives off with a clothesline for the middle rope, hooks the leg for the cover once again, but can't get it! Solar showing that heart on full display. This man could just take a beating. He has had no choice his entire career. Solar has been told that he wasn't good enough. Solar has been put in the ring with people that were set to destroy him. But Solar continuously gets up every single time. Will this be the night that Solar has to finally stop getting up and can finally stay up and do what he can to get the victory? But Lev doing everything in his power to choke the life out of Solar with his own two arms. Solar breaks the hold. Breaks the restraints of Lev, now off the ropes, ducks the line. Sends Lev into the ropes. Oh, oh! Get that power slam from Solar! But Solar's gassed. How much did Solar give with that power slam? Looks like every bit of energy he had left in the reserves had to expend it for that bit of offense. And now unable to make it over for the cover and Lev starting to show signs of life already. Both men beginning to stir as Lev, the first to his feet. Solar follows quickly after. Oh, so Solar, Solar with quick the on the attack. Line. Solar's fired up here. Catches him. Russian leg sweep from Solar. A quick combo from Michael Solar. And just like that, the momentum has certainly shifted in the favor of the Solar Superstar Spine Buster. Spine on the pond. The legs are stacked. Could this be it? No. Solar was less than a second away from claiming his first Southern States victory. Lev was so close to eating that pinfall, somehow able to get his shoulders off the mat. And right now, Michael Solar asking the crowd, are you ready? Looking to put away his opponent, Rob. Wants to get him up for that solar power slam. He's got him scooped up. He's on the shoulder, but Lev out gouges the eyes once again. Time and time again, Lev goes after the eyes and now has him hooked. Face first and then to the neck breaker. The leg is hooked. Is this it? Yes, it is. Andrew. 
take nothing away from Michael Solar. Once again, coming out and putting it all in line. I think we could see Solar is getting better week after week, but still not enough to get that first victory. Not enough to get the first victory as Lev looking to sway the audience here in Atlanta, Georgia, and find himself some new believers. The Savior walks away victorious. challenge and it was answered by I would arguably say the most naked man in this room right now Dave Stage the most naked man in the room yet yeah. oh sure sure <laughs> they, they play getting hot in here one more time I don't know no kidding Dave Stage <laughs> making his return to southern states not being able to make it during the Jimmy Rave Cup was originally scheduled to compete in the wild card scan scramble I'm, I'm just saying Kenway wanted a challenge and he has got it here look at this physical specimen of Dave Stage, this mountain of a man. Dave Stage, one of the biggest and baddest dudes anywhere he goes, and look at these push-ups. Goodness. Explosive performance already from Dave Stage. They haven't even touched. Oh, look at Kenway. Kenway can't do that. Kenway can do a lot of things, but can't do those high elevation push-ups. But I'll tell you one thing, something that's very important 
to note about both of these men going into this match. Both of these men are coming off losses. Dave Stave mm -hmm. suffering the first loss in his SSP career against Sunny Days. The Kenway is on a multiple loss losing streak, losing the three-way dance is where it all started against Bryce Cannon, Duncan Avasia, losing in singles competition against Ashton Starr, and then losing in the first round of the Jimmy Rave Cup. And, you, and you know Kenway just as well as I do. You know that that is absolutely eating him alive, especially that loss in the Jimmy Rave Cup. For anybody in the hierarchy, the most important thing is to win and to be dominant. And unfortunately, the Kenway has not been either one of those things in his last few appearances. And the Kenway is looking, and you can see him wearing the frustration, the frustration already all over his face. Wants to get that victory in a bad way tonight. But to your credit, very, very tough opposition in such a mountain of a man such as Dave Stage. Well, if Kenway wants to earn his keep, he certainly has a tough task ahead of him here tonight with Dave Stage as Kenway working over the side headlock. He's got it cinched in really tight. As I say, thus far he's done a great job at neutralizing the size advantage of Dave Stage. That's but what he's for how long? Do. Well, look at this, trying to come back in with a shoulder tackle, but Dave Stage is unfazed. Yeah, do it again. Stage Another calling one. for one more. Let's see what happens. That was even worse results for the Kenway. See if third time's a charm. What's that saying go about an uh, immovable object, Rob? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> oh, oh I saw the that. that. That right there, you might not like it, but that's IQ right there. Dave Sage, inexperienced compared to the Kimway by a lot. And there's going to be, Dave Sage did, broke into professional wrestling while the Kimway was retired a few years ago. Dave Sage is going to have that inexperience that he's going to have to deal with. He's going to have to do this right here, this power. The power game is what Stage is going to have to focus on if he wants to beat the Kimway. And where Dave Stage may have the advantage in the strip department, the Kimway absolutely has him in the wits department. This is a man who is very conniving, very scheming. He always is one step ahead of his opponent as Dave Stage sends Kenway up and over. High elevation on that belly-to-belly -belly suplex, dropping the Kenway almost directly on the top of his head. And as poetic as it is that we make our return to Atlanta, Georgia after well over a thousand days, the Kenway was such a stalwart in the former AWE right here in this city. This, is, this night means more to the Kenway than it does most people in that locker room. As Dave Stage looking to send the Kenway back to the inside of the ring the hard way. It's a lot on the line, but is that pressure too much? Not only looking to break that losing streak, but also looking to impress here in his return to Atlanta. We're going to have to find out. With the Kenway, you're just going to have to wait it oh, out. You're just going to have to wait and see. And Wise right there, going right after that knee. Also not protected as long as well as the feet of Dave Stage. You want to combat the size advantage of Dave Stage. This right here is exactly how you do it. Like it or not, picking apart the knee just slammed across the apron of the ring. And now Kenway looking to take advantage. And you mentioned that wit of the Kenway. And he's got it in spades. So he's looking to wrap those legs of Dave Stage around the corner post. Oh, listen to these rabid fans here in Atlanta at Wild Heaven. The human body is not meant to contort that way around cold steel the way that Dave Stage's knee just did around that post. Stage will always find a way, but let's see if he can do it after suffering this onslaught from the Kimway. The Kimway going for, that for the figure four on the post. Shades of the Hitman on the outside. The hold finally broken, but how much damage was done, Rob? From the looks of it, quite a lot. Dave Sage not even close to getting back up. Legas looks for the cover, but Stage able to push Kimway off after just one. That lower body of Stage has taken a hell of a beating the last couple of minutes. Now with the target still on the knee, the Kenway dropping to the fist. fist. 
All right, you, you're definitely buying. Yeah, me you're gonna owe me a drink after this. No, 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 no. I said it first. <laughs> Stomping the knee now is Kenway. Very, that's his work. very systematic in his approach. Now looks like he wants to figure four on the inside of the ring now. Mm, it's locked in tight. And if you've ever been put in this hold, it is extremely painful. All of that weight of the Kenway coming down on the ankle of Dave Stage. And that hurts a hell of a lot more when you don't have boots on. Stage may have no choice here. You see him powering up in the center of the ring, looking to sit upright, doing whatever he can to eliminate the pressure and a punch right to the side of the head of the Kenway. Opting not to try to turn the weight of the Kenway over, instead throwing in some right hands to Kenway, forcing the break. Finally, with a little bit of distance, Stage looking to make his way back up to his feet, but the Kenway relentless with this assault. That's exactly what Kenway has to do. He, oh my goodness, that power of Dave Stage, even with the wounded yes. limb. Still lots of strength in the legs of Dave Stage, injured left knee or not. Nailing that huge right forearm right across the jaw of the Kenway. Now delivering these shoulder strikes into the corner, and you see the size of those shoulders, Rob. But he doesn't have everything oh, behind it. Kenway picks the ankle. Always dangerous, and you see now looking to apply even more pressure onto the legs of Day Stage. That single leg Boston Crab just, just sitting down on the lower back of Dave Stage wrenching at that leg. He's got it cinched in tight as you see Dave Stage picking up his other leg and now using his upper body to crawl towards the ropes. Spins out. Great reversal there from Stage, but you can see him nursing that quadricep. How much more damage can the lower body of Dave Stage realistically take? Kenway now looking to power up the big man. What does he have in mind? Oh, Dave Stage! has something else in mind. Shoulders are pinned, just a one count. Looks like Dave wants the slingshot. This may send Kenway clean out of the ring. Oh, face first into the top turnbuckle. Kenway looking a hell of a lot worse for wear after that. But Dave Stage unable to stay on top of his opponent. You see how much damage has been done. Gingerly making his way back over to his opponent, laying in that forearm shot. But whenever you've taken that much damage to your lower body, even with that, you can see he doesn't have everything behind it. See, normally when Dave Stage goes to launch an opponent, he's able to base, he's able to lower his lower body into a squatting position and power up with his legs, sending his opponent flying in a spine buster. Goes over cover. to cover. But two. just barely a two count. You saw barely. Dave slowly making his way into that cover, not able to put all of his weight across the upper body of the Kenway. Took him a long time to get the leg hooked as well. You can see just how much damage has been done to both men as Kenway rolling to the outside, looking to find a little bit of solace here. Trying to create a little bit of distance between him and Dave. He knows he cannot get too close to the big man because if Dave Stage can get a hold of you, that just might be lights out. Dave Stage getting his bearings and now sees Kenway on the outside, on the apron, looks to power him in. Go Look at this. Again. Look at this. Ray Suplex. Foster right on the top of the head, Carmen. Oh God. But again, unable to capitalize. Drops Kenway right on his head, but unable to stay on top of his opponent. And keeps getting all this offense off, but Kenway still able to get back to his feet and recover. Dave. Can he put him away here? No. Oh. Unable to make it. The leg gives out halfway. Oh. And that knee right to the face of stage. It may be lights out for stage at this point. It may be academic already, but Kenway looking to prove a point. Gets him up in a oh, pile driver. driver. That's gonna be all she wrote for Dave Stage. Legs are hooked, one, two, three. And the Kenway. The Kenway returns to his winning ways in the city that made him famous.